Hello, Liptich lovers. Today, as you can see, I'm talking about Xanadu and witches in a very famous work by Astrid Coleridge that is Kubla Khan. It's a beautiful place and a very, very beautiful and famous lyric Kubla Khan or a vision in a dream, a fragment. No doubt it is. A vision in a dream. It is a fragment. It is a work by Astrid Coleridge, which got completed in 1797 and published in 1816. According to Coleridge's preface to Kubla Khan, the work was composed one night after he experienced an opium influenced dream after reading a work describing Zanadu. What is Zanadu? It's the summer palace of the Mongol ruler, emperor of China, Kabulia Khan. Upon walking, he set about writing lines of poetry that came to him from the dream until he was interrupted by a person from Pollock. The poem could not be completed according to its original 200 or 300 line plan as the interruption caused him to forget the lines. He left it unpublished and kept it for private readings for his friends until 1816 when at the prompting of Lord Byron, another very famous poet, it was published and the poet, the poem is vastly different in style from other works written by Coleridge. No doubt because of opium. The first stanza of the poem describes Khan's pleasure doom, doom build alongside a sacred river fed by a powerful fountain. The second stanza of the poem is the narrator's response to the power and effects of an Abyssinian song made song, which enraptures him but leaves him unable to act on her inspiration unless he could hear her once again. Together they form a comparison of creative power that does not work with nature and creative power that is harmonious with nature. The third and final stanza shift to a first person perspective of the speaker detailing his sighting of a woman playing a dulcimer and if he could revive her song, he could fit the pleasure dome with music. The poem ends with instructions to perform a ritual, for he has drunk the milk of paradise. Some of Coleridge's contemporary denounced the poem and questioned his sto story of its origin. It was not until years later that crit critics began to openly admire the poem. Most modern critics now view Kubla Khan as one of Coleridge's three great works along with Rhyme of Ancient Mariner and Christabel. It is considered one of the most famous examples of romanticism in English poetry and is one of the most frequently analyzed poems in English language. A copy of manuscript in a permanent exhibition at the British Library, London. 
I hope you must have aware of its greatness and will try to analyze it in different perspectives. Its style, themes, all have a different style, giving the pleasure filled with poetic imagination, scenery, all the major responses by different critics established according to it. That's all for today. I hope you will like it. Thanks.